Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 18, Writing and Evaluating Expressions, Addition and Subtraction. All right, so we're starting with the classwork. The opening exercise says, how can we show a number increased by 2? So we choose a variable for any number that we don't know. So A can represent any number. It could be 5, it could be 10, whatever. So A increased by is plus, and then 2. A plus 2. A increased by 2. Can you prove this using a model? Okay. Um, sure. How about a tape diagram? So if I choose a box of a certain size in my tape diagram and say it's got a value of A, we don't know if it's 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, and then I add another blank onto it of my tape diagram. Oh, that was good. Okay. Still not very good, but anyhow, you get the idea. And this is worth 2. So some value A plus 2 would give me this whole thing. Okay. Or the A could have come first, or the 2 could have come first. doesn't matter because addition is commutative. All right, example 1 says, the importance of being specific in naming variables. When naming variables and expressions, it is important to be very clear about what they represent. The units of measure must be included if something is measured. Extremely important. I highly, highly, highly encourage my students to do this. If you, do, if you get lazy with... Um, unit of measure, you'll be in trouble when you get up into calculus or so forth that you have to write an exam and they, they will lose points if they take the census measure. So get in the habit of doing it now and it'll be second nature to you when it's necessary. Ex exercise one and two says read the variable in the table and improve the description given, making it more specific. So the variable is Joshua's speed, J. Let J represent Joshua's speed. Is the description. Let J represent Joshua's speed. And just to say, in, this should say, let J represent Josh's speed in meters per second. I'll bring that in. Okay, so a complete description with units here would be, let J represent Joshua's speed in meters per second. Okay, now the next one says, Rufus's height R. Let R represent Rufus's height. So now the answer is let R represent Rufus's height in centimeters. Milk sold M. Let M represent the amount of milk sold. So I'm going to be more specific with a unit of measurement and say let M represent the amount of milk sold in gallons. The next one is Colleen's time is in 40 meter hurdles C. Let C represent Colleen's time. Let C represent Colleen's time in seconds. So okay, now Sean's age. Let S represent Sean's age. Okay, since time is minutes, seconds, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, we use let S represent Sean's age here. Go by years for age. So there you have it. There are some examples. I brought them in as print simply because those are small boxes to write a lot of stuff okay here's another one read each variable on the table and improve the description given making it more specific we're continuing on here i will just bring in the three answers here to save time. okay so let j represent joshua's merit badge how about let j represent the number of merit badges joshua has earned let R represent Rufus's trading cards, or R is Rufus's trading cards. I would rather say let R represent the number of trading cards in Rufus's collection. Okay, be more specific with your descriptions. Milk money is M. Let M represent the amount of milk. How about let M represent the amount of milk money collected in dollars? Okay. Example two, writing and evaluating addition and subtraction expressions. Read each story problem, identify the unknown quantity, and write the addition or subtraction expression that is described. Finally, evaluate your expression using the information given in column four. The first two, 
have been done for you, haven't they? Yes, they have. So now we're just going to continue on with this. So let's just take a look at these. So it says Greg has two more dollars than his brother Jeff. Let J represent Jeff's money in dollars. J, the Greg expression is J plus two. So Jeff has twelve dollars. Write an expression for the amount of money Greg has. They evaluate the expression if Jeff has twelve dollars. So J plus two is my expression. Substitute in the twelve for J. And twelve plus two is fourteen, so therefore Greg has fourteen dollars. And so on. Okay. If you want to read all these, I'll pause the video and then come back, but I'm going to continue on. It says Abby read eight more books than Christy. Okay. So we need a variable. So I would say let K represent the number of books Kristen read. Okay. Let K represent the number of books Kristen read. We try to use the letters of the names of the people in our stories and write an expression for the number of books Abby read. So this is in terms of Abby. Okay. And it says expression, so there's no equal sign, so I'm not going to use A equals. We're just going to do an expression, not an equation. So I'm going to, this is a small area for me to write, so I'm just going to copy and paste in the printed, the typed out form. Okay, so I said let K represent the number of books Kristen read in the first marking period. Okay. So my expression is going to be Abby read eight more books than Kristen. More than says to read it backwards, and more than is plus. So we're going to start with K, Kristen, plus eight. Okay, so then over here I'm going to rewrite my expression. Substitute my given, Kristen read nine. So therefore, the answer is 17. So I would answer in a complete sentence. Kristen read, I'm sorry, Abby read 17 books in the first marking period. And I'm just going to bring that in to explain to you that you have to answer in complete sentences. It's part of the curriculum. Okay, they aren't giving you a lot of room, but it should say Abby read 17 books in the first marking period. Okay, next problem. So this is a lot of writing, so I'm just going to bring all these in, and then I will work them. I'll do the math with my magic pen. Okay, so Abby read six more. We just did this one, or did we? No, we did. Now it says Abby read six more books than, more than, add, go this direction, than Kristen in the second marking period. Read an expression for the number of books Kristen read. So I'd say let A represent the number of books Abby read in the second marking period. And we're going to say Abby read, A represent the number of books Abby read. Abby read six more books than Kristen. Six plus A. That's not correct. Abby read six more books than Kristen. In the second marking period, I express from the number of books of Kristen. So there's got to be an A in here. So Kristen read the same number of books as Abby, but Abby read six more books. So if I subtract those six, because Abby read six more than Kristen, so we have to subtract. So the more than is the trick there. Abby read six more than Kristen. How many did Kristen read? Six less than Abby. So it's going to be A minus six. So be careful how they word these. And then we solve. So we say A minus 6 is my expression. Abby read 20 books. Substitute it in. So if Abby read 20 books. 6 less than 20 is 14. So then I would say Kristen read 14 books on the second book. I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to write this. I'm just going to do the math. Okay. Now the next one says Daryl has been teaching for one year longer than Julie. Write an expression for the number of years that Daryl has been teaching. Let J represent the number of years Julie has been teaching. Daryl Daryl has been teaching for one year longer than Julie. That's going to be J plus one. So I write my expression over here. Julie's been teaching for 28 years. Substitute in that 28. 28 plus 1 is 29. That means Daryl's been teaching for 29 years. I'm very tired, Daryl. All right, just kidding. 
Ian scored four fewer goals than Julia in the first half of the season. Write an expression for the number of goals Ian scored. Let J represent the number of goals scored by Julia. Ian scored four fewer goals than Julia. So Ian scored four less than J. So if I write J minus four, Julia scored 13 goals. 13 minus four is nine. So what you should say here is Ian scored nine goals in the first half of the season. Okay. First half of the season. All right. Next one. Ian scored three fewer goals than Julia. Let I represent the number of goals Ian scored. Ian scored three fewer goals than Julia. So Julia scored three more goals than Ian. So be careful. There's another wording thing. So it's I plus three. So Ian goal scoring plus three. Ian scored eight goals. Eight is three fewer than 11. So that means Julia scored 11 goals in the second half of the season. Okay, finally, Joanne, Johan, Johan visited Niagara Falls three times fewer than Arthur. <laughs> write the expression, write an expression for the number of times Johan visited Niagara Falls. Let F represent the number of times Arthur visited Niagara Falls. So we're going to use F to represent the number of times Arthur visited Niagara Falls. Why F? I don't know. Falls, F, Arthur, Jonathan. Okay, anyhow, just copying what the book had. So let F, I would use A, but anyhow. Let F represent the number of times Arthur visited Niagara Falls. Jonathan visited Niagara Falls three times fewer than Arthur. Three less than F. F minus three. So F minus three. Arthur visited Niagara Falls five times. Five minus three is two. So then I would say... John, Johan visited Niagara Falls two times, or twice. Okay, that is the end of Lesson 18. We'll do your problems next.